peas what's good <laughs> i'm gonna prop this up on something that's dusty and whatnot yeah it's on a dusty ass stand oh lord this is gonna be a story time this is gonna be a story time i'm gonna start doing story times more and whatnot just to get better at them also disclaimer on my channel i curse if you don't like that i curse you can exit stage left and whatnot so yeah me doing these story times and me saying my opinion and whatnot i say my opinions of things sometimes i laugh at the irony of some things i talk about so i'm not laughing at the situation of someone else's pain i'm literally laughing because bitch why the fuck did this happen like why did this occur like that's why i'd be laughing at but yeah you know i'm getting more used to saying my opinion on things when i was younger i didn't have too much of an opinion of things i was more neutral with a lot of things until i got older and started thinking more and i was like this shit was some bullshit. Why did this occur? So yeah, this is what my channel is going to be about. Me talking about different shit. Me gushing about fan fiction. Oh gosh. And fandoms. Oh, and getting into new anime and new TV shows and whatnot. And then talking about so some celebrity drama. I don't actually follow celebrities I talk on this, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just getting used to looking up shit and having an opinion about it and saying it, you know? So child, anyways, that's my whole disclaimer. Let's get into the video. For some background, this took place during high school and in 10th grade and whatnot. It took place in my class that I love still to this day. It was an English class, oh my gosh. And it was during like the last two periods of the school days and whatnot during the week and whatnot. It was a really good class and it had an amazing teacher and whatnot. And what sucks, I'm gonna tell you at the end what really what happened and whatnot, like with that teacher and whatnot. But y'all, anyways, yep, took place in high school. I am a junior in college and whatnot. A lot of story times, they tell you, they tell you, they happened like, what, years ago and whatnot? You believe they happened recently? No, they happened years ago for a lot of story times. Some story times happen right at that moment. There's a reason why they do that. Because to happen years ago, people can't really get at them and whatnot, I guess. But with this one, <laughs> don't nobody know who the fuck I am. So it's like, I hope they don't. Um, but y'all, anyways, I'm going to be talking about it's a fight story time. It's a fighting story time. I don't think I told y'all that it's a fighting story time. This situation was so stupid. Anyways, that's over with with the background a bit. We're getting into some of the people that like, were in it and whatnot. The teacher, for instance. The teacher, this day that the fight happened, the teacher was not there. <laughs> she was not there. It was a substitute teacher on some real shit. And it had to do with our actual teacher, though. So with our actual teacher... She's very open and whatnot. You know, she is president of a pride club and whatnot because she is part of the pride, part of LGBT and whatnot. She's very sweet. She's very open. She's very understanding, but she's also very professional and whatnot. So this whole fight happened because someone was spreading a rumor that she was drinking during the dance, homecoming or prom. I forgot which one. It was dance weekend. I'm going to just say dance weekend and whatnot. During dance weekend, a lot of people went to homecoming or prom. I don't know which one it was. And they were having fun and whatnot. She was one of the chauffeurs or like supervisors and whatnot. So yeah, you know, every year they make up a rumor that this specific teacher and some other teachers are drinking or smoking during this. I don't know why they do that. I guess it's, she's already cool without drinking or smoking. I don't know why they make a rumor like that, but she never actually does. Like the people who show up there, she never actually does. Like she's over there cleaning up chairs after the dance starts. She's over there like, you know, passing out food or around the food and whatnot. She never does that shit. So Monday, or was it Tuesday? I think it was Monday. Monday after the dance weekend and whatnot, people were coming in, filing in. I already was in my chair because, bitch, I love this class. I'm going to be sit down the fuck, okay? I'm going to be sit in my chair waiting for my teacher to come. Then we realized we had a substitute teacher. I was just like, man, I actually wanted to do some shit today. Like, <laughs> she actually she actually wants us to learn. She makes, she makes us want to learn, basically. She's that cool. Um, people were filing in. One person who was in the fight... She was putting her stuff down. What should I call her? Ooh, with this. I'm gonna call her Tattoo. Tattoo put her stuff down. She was talking to a few people and whatnot. She went back out into like talking to her friends with the bathroom or something like that. The other girl, what should I call her? Oh shit. Oh gosh, hold on. My bad, y'all. I had to I had to pause so that I don't hit too close to home with these names. Okay, so I the one with the sat down her bags is tattoo. The other one who came in was zoom zoom was talking to her friends outside and whatnot pretty loudly and whatnot 
And right when she came in, she was exclaiming just like, uh -huh, I know, right? I can't believe that our teacher was like drinking and whatnot loud as fuck, right? The other girl, Tattoo, came in and she was just like, I didn't tell you that shit so that you could be spreading around the whole fucking school. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? And then Tattoo went back outside. I think she went to the bathroom. Like, you know, she went back outside twice, basically. Um, one before Zoom came in, one after Zoom came in. And she had said that shit. And then Zoom looked confused and whatnot. She was just like, huh? And then she sat down, and then the bell ring substitute teacher came in, would not um, introduced herself, all that. Then we were doing some assignments or like playing on our phones and whatnot. Tattoo came back in, and um, Zoom was just like, I don't know what the hell you talking about with like telling me all that shit. She was just like, she didn't act, like Tattoo was just like, she didn't actually do that. Like, you know, that's the thing. It's only just a rumor. I don't know why you're spreading it. And they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Y'all, just to pause for a second with this shit, right? If you have a teacher and you're in that class with that teacher this whole time and you know how she is and she's very open with shit, you know, this rumor, it wouldn't really be a rumor. It wouldn't be a surprise because that ass, if she drinks or smokes, she would let us know. Like, you know, even after school, I was just like, she wouldn't, if I was not after school for that one day, I would not have known off the bat that she was one president of the pride club and two lgbtq herself like i would not have known if i wasn't at the school but literally she's very open so if she drinks or smokes like you know she probably would have said it not on the job like no not on the job but she probably would have said like she does that you know she's not attending to the kids and whatnot so them having this rumor that she does this and this happens every year and I keep saying every year because the teacher literally tells us that people make up rumors about her drinking or smoking while supervising the kids every year. So that's just the pause. Like this is this is a rumor. And we've all sat in this teacher's class. We know how the fuck she is. Like that's the thing. And she would have told us if she was like that. Like and plus she would get fired. That's another thing. It's a rumor that could potentially get her fired. And tattoo was trying to hammer that in at home. You're saying this out loud. Do you not know that she can get fucking fired from this? Like did you not know? And I was thinking in my head, me just sitting in the background, I thought in my head, you just said, you. she came in the class saying, like, th I didn't tell you that rumor so that you could spread it across the school. If you know that this rumor could get our teacher fired, why the fuck are you telling people anyway? Like, that is, why are you telling people anyway? If you know that shit could get her fired, why are you even letting anyone know about this rumor? Bitch, keep it to yourself. Like, bro, and then Zoom was arguing back and forth first of all zoom should have caught that shit too like that's the thing is i was thinking in my head just like zoom why didn't you just caught that shit like how i did in my head like you know if it was a rumor why are you even telling people and yet if she could potentially get fired from this shit zoom should have been like why are you even telling people like it's stupid as fuck on both sides right they were going back and forth and when i tell you fighting words it's just like you know zoom has said like oh this is that and third and saying that she will go over there and beat her up. And not, and not in those exact words, but something like that. And the other girl was just like, uh-huh, come around and see her. Come around and try and whatnot. Not in those exact words, but that's basically what it is. Zoom was just like, I'll beat you up. The other one was just like, uh-huh, come around and see. There's a reason why I called this person Zoom. There's a reason, okay? Bitch. <laughs> Nigga, hey, I got, I got to scoot up my chair for this shit. Bro, when I tell you, see, I'm laughing at the irony of it because, bitch, I was, I remember, I was right there, bro. I looked straight over at Zoom. After Tattoo had said that shit, I looked straight over at Zoom, right? When I tell you, Zoom, you know when you see something and your eyes are moving, but you aren't actually moving? It's like you, your body isn't reacting in time with, I guess, your eyes and your fucking brain. You know that, right? Like, you damn near paralyzed and some shit, like, dead ass, like, I, Zoom got up, and that's how you know she was running fast. That bitch was fucking tall assy. That bitch hauled ass to the other side of the room. Okay, so let's just give you a little bit of a thing. Okay, so, look, how could I, how could I? Okay, so, where I'm sitting at right now, Zoom is right, damn it, Jesse, right here, this laptop, right? Tattoo is, ooh, hold on. No, I'm not going to show you that area. Basically, my laptop right here, Tattoo is literally on the other side of this wall, basically. She's not in the actual classroom. I'm just saying the classroom is bigger than my room. So if I broke down this wall right here that had my um, closet and whatnot, 
that's how far away Tattoo was from Zoom, basically. Like, you know, I, two rows away. Why didn't I say that shit? You know what? I'm slacking the one. I should have just said, like, she was over two rows away, about four rows away, right? So, it's like, you, if you speed walk, you can head over there to her. No. She got up and she was like this, like, you know, four times with her fucking arms. And then, yeah, I was like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> and the whole time, I was just, I was just like, oh, I was <laughs> No, because dead ass, bro, there's a reason why I called them Zoom. I was going to call them her freight, as in freight train, nigga, but I, 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 tattoo and freight. It sounds weird. Just like tattoo and Zoom, what the fuck am I talking about? Um, but y'all, anyways, yeah, she fucking hauled ass over to the other person. She speed, bitch, like, and punched her at the same time. How you, and, blah, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, no, because, like. She did that, and, and you know what? Most of us in class, we ain't shit. Like, I, I love how when it was at the beginning of the year, sorry, this is a little bit of a tangent. At the beginning of the year, when we were doing fire drills and we're not going over fire safety and fire drills, we were talking about, like, I like this class. Some people who were, like, the class clowns, they were just like, I like this class. We like a family. That was at the beginning of the year. This happened around February, bro. Next, second semester, bro, of the year, 10th grade. And this was around homecoming. Yeah, homecoming. Why I say prom? What the fuck? This is a homecoming weekend, bro. And this is the Monday after that. We really ain't shit for real. Because, bitch, <laughs> when that happened, only one person was helping tattoo. Only one person. Everybody else got their ass up out their seat and went to the front of the room, baby. Like, bro, everybody got up out their seat and went to the front of the room. Even the substitute teacher. And then the substitute teacher, like, had to realize for a second, just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm the teacher. I should be helping. Like, Bro, and the thing is, it was so loud because they were moving desks. Like, they were moving multiple fucking desks, right? Now, when I tell you, bro, the one who helped tattoo, I'm going to name him country. I'm going to just name him country, right? When Zoom fucking died and was grabbing, and the thing is, when I tell you, when you are saying, come around and get me, you don't sit down and then try to get up the moment the other person comes. Because that's what Tattoo did. Tattoo sat down as she said that shit. And then the moment she, like, zoom, zooms, <laughs> bitch. It's like the moment Tattoo sat down, Zoom was already over there. So it was like, she did, like, I want to, see, I want you to, <laughs> I, oh my gosh, what am I saying? I want you to come see and try. And then Zoom came out. She was just like, and then I was like, oh, shit, okay. That's what we're doing? Okay, okay. Bro, when I tell you, Country got up out his seat. He was a seat behind Tattoo. So, Country got up out his seat, and he went behind Zoom and whatnot, and was trying to, like, wrestle Zoom off of Tattoo. But Zoom was like, I was like, oh, my God. He was I was like, bro, what the fuck? Bro. Me and Leah, that's a, one of my friends that was in that class. Me and Leah, when I tell you, bro, her face matched mine. I was just like, like, we both, because she sat, like, across a, from me, a row from me. Me and her, both our heads were slowly going like this, but our eyes were moving faster than our heads were turning. So we were just like this, bro. When I tell you, me and Leah, I, I got up like, oh my God. Leah was just like, man. <laughs> I was just like, huh? And we went to the front of the classroom. We were looking at all those other people that were near Tattoo, Zoom, and Country. And when I tell you, they did the same exact thing. Like, they weren't shit for real either. <laughs> like, bro. Y'all had to charge my phone. My phone was on 5%. Um, as it always is, as it always is, no. <laughs> I always need to charge my phone, but y'all, anyways, yes, bro, everybody that was on the side of country, tattoo, and zoom, they legit did the same shit me and Leah did, like, bitch, we were literally at the front of the classroom, bro, just watching this chaos and some shit like that, you know, bro, he was still trying to wrestle Zoom, and Zoom was moving death, like, as, Zoom would not let tattoo get the fuck up, okay, so she was beating tattoo off of the fucking desk. I was like out the desk chair. I was just like, oh my gosh, bro. And they moved about four fucking desks before like, you know, the substitute teacher was just like, oh shit, I'm the teacher. I should be helping. And then the substitute teacher tried to do something. And then, bro, I don't know who opened the door to our classroom, but I think it was either one of the, yeah, the substitute teacher asked one of the students to open the classroom and get help, like get a male to come and help and whatnot, I think, right? 
when we opened the classroom, everybody's so fucking nosy, man. <laughs> like, we were in the English area of the building and whatnot. So all the other students, it was loud. They were loud too. Um, country tattoo and Zoom, they were loud. So all the other students from the classroom, they over there poking their heads in. I'm just like, y'all nosy motherfuckers. And they were shocked because, like I said, with this teacher, she's a very cool teacher. Nothing has ever really happened like this in this class, like in previous years. Or even in other class periods, we're the last class period of the day and nothing has ever happened like this the whole year until this month. So everybody looked fucking shocked, okay? Everybody looked like, huh, what the fuck? Bro, when I tell you, Tattoo finally got up, but Tattoo was literally against the wall and Zoom was still like trying to, like Country was grabbing Zoom's arm like this and Zoom was still trying to hit at her and Tattoo was getting some hits in and whatnot, but at the same time, it's like, she was tired because, bitch, she beat her into the fucking desk. So it's like, I will be tired, too. Like, I can't. So, um, <laughs> finally, they got, they got, the, he's not, the, that's not the superintendent. It was the, oh, shit, the advisor? The vice principal? No, that's not the vice principal. One of the advisors. They got one of the advisors in there. Um, afterwards, one of the students had basically yelled down the hall, basically ran too, while the substitute teacher was trying to help as well with the fight as well. And then finally it stopped because both Zoom, Tattoo, and Country, all three of them actually got tired. Then, um, what am I going to call him? Ooh, Fanta? I'm going to call Advisor Fanta. Wait, that's a little too close to home, is it? Eh, it's not that close. Uh, Mr. Fanta and whatnot. They, he had come in and whatnot. He was just like, you with me. Like, basically saying to Zoom. And Zoom grabbed the backpack and went out of there. Because maybe you just fought in this class. Like, like, and then Tattoo's girlfriend was looking into the classroom. Everybody had dispersed at this point once um, Advisor Fanta came. Like, everybody dispersed. All the people from the other classes dispersed. Um, Tattoo's girlfriend, who... I'm not gonna say what grade they were in, but Tattoo's girlfriend was kind of like, they were not our grade, basically. I'm just saying that. But Tattoo's girlfriend, basically, I think this was during when they got out of class, but Tattoo was still in class. So Tattoo's girlfriend, I don't think, had a class anymore. They were just about to head home, and then they heard the commotion, and they came up to our classroom. This was after Mr. Fanta and Zoom had already left. Like, you know, Tattoo's girlfriend came, like, <laughs> 20 minutes. I was just like, bro, I'm, I'm kind of glad, because we would have got a second fight. I don't need to see this. Like, bro, y'all raise my blood pressure up and shit. Like, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Leah was, like, shaking and so was I, nigga. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't even front. I was shaking too. I was just like, oh my gosh, bro. Y'all gonna do something? You okay? Like, that shit. Tattoo's girlfriend um, came and whatnot. Tattoo left with Tattoo's girlfriend. I think Country also left with them too. Just to make sure that, like, I guess Zoom wasn't around the corner or something like that. But that's another thing. I'm. This is reaching kind of the epilogue of it. But after Tattoo, Zoom, and Country left, we all, we fixed the desk. Um, they fixed the desk, bitch. I sat down in my desk, bro. Um, me and Leah did. The substitute teacher was explaining to the class about Zoom. Because Zoom was a cousin to one of the people in the classrooms. Um, I think so. Like, uh, cousin was explaining what was going on with them. And the cousin was, she, cousin was upset. I was upset. Like, I wasn't actually upset. I was just kind of like annoyed you know why i was annoyed because me and the rest of the people in the class were just like bro our teacher's gonna fucking hate us this was like a few weeks after we had basically been rowdy so much to where our teacher had to like she like threw down her pen and was just like okay y'all get on your computers and do your work i was like and that was the first time we made her so annoyed to where she literally stopped teaching and went to her desk and like was grading some papers and i was just like damn it and this is weeks after that happened so not only were we bad weeks ago but bitch, now it's like we literally we're the first class probably ever in her career that's been in a fucking fight. Like, I, bro, I was fucking nervous. Me and Leah, we were just like, bitch, this is bad. Like, and Leah was just like, this is bad. I was like, I know. Like, um, bro, um, the cousin had explained to the substitute teacher. They, they were just talking one on one for a second, as the the rest of the people were just talking about what the fuck just happened. And the substitute teacher went to the front of the room and was explaining that Zoom grew up in an area where it was normal to fight, basically. It was normal. It was basically like a 
school that was in a bad area basically it was normal to fight and things that happened there they had a passing and whatnot in the family and a, this this person zoom had a lot of anger built up and whatnot <laughs> So, it's like when Tattoo had basically said, come and try me and some shit like that. It was basically like poking a fucking bear. So, when the substitute teacher explained that type of shit, some of the other students were just like, yeah, but it shouldn't have gotten to the point to where, like, screw all that anger issues type shit. It's like, it shouldn't have gotten to the point where she was doing that, beating her into the fucking desk. Like, they weren't cursing, I'm, I'm just saying. Beating her into the desk, it shouldn't have gotten to that. And I agree, it shouldn't have gotten into that. However, I don't agree with the other people siding with Mainly Tattoo. They were both wrong. Like, me, me. I, even back then, I was just like, they were both wrong. Why are y'all talking about a rumor of our teacher drinking, bitch? Like, the fuck? It, like... <laughs> Don't you like, y'all both have said that y'all really like this teacher, but you're talking about a rumor of this teacher drinking or some shit like that, knowing damn well it could get her fired. Even some of the students in there, they were just like, that rumor can get her fired. What the fuck? Especially if people, the advisors or the principal, like, were to investigate a little bit more and whatnot, they would have been like, oh, you were by that punch ball a lot. Oh, you know, it could have been Spike. You're fired. Like, that, that, not that easy. It's not always that easy. But still, it's kind of like, bitch, we really could have... Y'all could have got her in trouble. And y'all both are spreading rumors. You're both fucking wrong. And the substitute teacher was trying to explain, like, no, no, Tattoo shouldn't have done this to Zoom. Like, you know, she was basically poking a bear or some shit like that. Like, you know, oh, she has anger issues. She grew up in a rough, like, you know, with a rough childhood and in an area where she constantly fought and all that type shit. And other people were just like, yeah, but still, it was kind of like that back and forth shit. And I was just like, bro, me, I was just worried about our teacher coming the next day. Because like I said, she's a, she had a substitute. She was not here that day, our original teacher. I was just like, bro, our teacher's going to fucking hate us. Like, that's the thing. If someone, like, broke the ice after, like, the substitute teacher had gotten tired of explaining, bro, someone was just like, man. Our teacher's gonna fucking hate us. I was like, yes, she is, bro. And what's crazy is that the substitute teacher is like trying to understand and defend Zoom, but like Zoom literally damn near almost fought this teacher. Okay, when when before a few seconds before Dr. Fanta came into the room, bro, the teacher was trying to calm Zoom down. Zoom was getting a little rowdy with the substitute teacher, and the substitute teacher was just like, I'm an adult. You don't talk to me that way, girl. I, girl, I, I'm an adult, right? Like. That type shit. So I'm just like, we almost had a second fight <laughs> before between the teacher and the fucking student. So I was just like, why are you? It seems like you're trying to defend and understand this other person's side, but this other person almost fought you. So it's like, oh my gosh, bro, they're both wrong. And I'm not even saying this shit to be like completely neutral just for the sake of being neutral. No, I'm saying it because literally, they're both fucking wrong. Like <laughs> y'all, like y'all are fighting and arguing over a rumor. A rumor that neither of you have should have spread. Are you out of your minds? Like, bro. But child, anyways. Uh, the rest of the day was just kind of... Our nerves were... Bitch, our nerves were up, bro. The whole class's nerves was up, bro. Like, we were... Mm, you know? Then that was the bell ring. And then we got out of class. Some people from the other classrooms were trying to ask people from our classroom what the fuck happened. And may I just say, y'all ain't shit for that. <laughs> like, y'all ain't shit for that for real. Because, bitch, we can't explain it. We can't. We're too worried about our teacher fucking hating us the next day. So, um, anyways. It was the next day. I was, sh like, shaking in my boots. Not to say, like, oh, yeah, I'm afraid that she's going to beat us the fuck up. I, I was not afraid that our teacher's not going to do that shit. I was more so afraid that, like, we were going to get a lecture and our teacher was never going to be, like, cool and open with us again. I was afraid that she was going to just be one of those generic, like, you know, teachers who really honestly don't seem like they like children. And it seemed like they did not have a choice when picking the job to be a teacher. Like, I didn't want her to turn out like that. I was afraid she was going to turn out like that. Bro, when we came in the next day, um, people were already there. Most of the people, I was almost late to this class, surprisingly. Like, bitch, I was that nervous. I went to the bathroom before then, knowing damn well I take about 20 minutes to fucking use the bathroom. Like, bitch, why did I take the bathroom? Why did I use the bathroom before I went to this class? What's wrong with me? But child, anyways, came in there. And the teacher looked, like, not frustrated, puzzled. She had a puzzled expression on her face. And she was just like, yeah, you know, and she has a lanyard, you know, one of those things hanging around the neck with the keys. She was just like, yeah, yeah, tell me everything. Tell me everything. Tell me what happened. And this was before the bell ring. And they were just like trying to explain it. Yo, when I tell you, some people in the class, bro, 
they were just like one person i'm not even gonna give them a name i'm gonna just say like that person was just like you know what yeah you know hey if she came a little closer and stuff like that and would start wilding with her fist i would have jumped in because we had we had a pregnant um, classmate in there so they were just like if she started wilding with her fist and accidentally hit you know our pregnant like classmate and whatnot i would have jumped in and i was just like why are you being one of those people? Like, <laughs> don't say that shit, bro. But, like, why are you being one of those people? They were one of the class clowns, too. Um, I don't even want to call them a class clown. I like everybody in there. They weren't annoying with their... They were really funny and some shit. And relatable. Like, bro, so I really liked... I liked everybody in that class. Almost everybody. No, I, I think I liked everybody in that class. I think I liked everybody in that class. I think I liked everybody in that class. They were pretty cool. But yeah, they were just like, if they, they, hey, if Zoom was wild with their fist, I would have jumped in. But, bitch, the teacher was still hearing it out. And the teacher was just like, yeah, you know, I was shocked that this was over a rumor. Like, I, like I'm just, he was just like, yeah, I was shocked that it was over a rumor and stuff, stuff like that. Especially that type of rumor. This rumor is spread about every year that I do some stuff like that and I don't. So, I, I don't know. I guess it's because people think it's funny. But I, I don't do that type of stuff. Like, you know, we're 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 at the dance and whatnot. Students are already gonna do some things anyway. Drinking, hanging out with friends afterwards, smoking. Like it's my job to just look after them, clean up um once the dance is over and make sure that they get home safely, like watch outside. It's that's my job. I'm not gonna jeopardize my job for something I don't even want to do. Like that's what my teacher was. Like like I said, she's fucking professional. She's not gonna do shit like that. So it's like and, the, and like I said, the teacher literally told us that the rumor is spread every fucking year. So it's like, bro, for it to actually have caused a fight, the teacher was just puzzled with that. She was just like, and then like, you know how I nervously laugh and some shit like that. Not nervous, well, nervously, awkwardly, all that type of laugh. She was just like, yeah, that's like, over a rumor, like, bro. This, yeah, it was crazy, but I'm not mad. She like was reassuring us that she's not mad. She's just more so confused and whatnot, like, it's kind of a weird energy, but it's not like she's not mad, and that's what I was afraid for. Because I was just like, "Damn it! If she's mad, she's gonna end up emulating one of those, m mimicking one of those generic teachers that really don't seem like they give a fuck about students at all, and don't really seem like they enjoy their job. And it's like makes you wonder why did they even have a job as a teacher to begin with? Like I thought she was gonna turn into one of those teachers, but she didn't. And I was very happy about that. I was very happy about that. Now, um, I'm going to give you the aftermath of it all, because that was basically the aftermath of it. But the aftermath of the aftermath, the oddly enough, the aftermath, because that, uh, when our teacher came back Tuesday, that's when the whole thing. Bro, after that, the rest of the week, um, Zoom was no longer part of our class anymore. Tattoo still attended our class, but Tattoo, actually, I got to tell you, Tuesday, Tattoo came back and whatnot. Um, but they missed a chunk of their hair. Not a chunk, not a huge chunk, but country checked their head and said, yeah, it's a little bit of a bald spot there, but you have, you still have a lot of your hair, so it's going to cover it up. And then, like, Tattoo was, like, kind of joking. She was just like, damn, she ripped out a chunk of my hair. I'm fucking bald. I was just like, damn it, Tattoo. Like, no, it was kind of funny. like, Tattoo, why'd you make a joke like that? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But yeah, you know, that was Tuesday and everybody, like, kind of laughed a little bit. Um, rest of the week after Tuesday... Zoom is no longer part of our class. Um, what else? Tattoo's girlfriend was routinely, whenever the bell would ring, since we had two block class um, in between it when the bell would ring, um, Tattoo's girlfriend would kind of like peek in, trying to see if Zoom was still there. I don't think anyone told her that Zoom was no longer part of that class anymore. But yeah, trying to peek in without that. Dude, when I tell you that, like, we found out with like Zoom at the lunch table, people were like congratulating her for beating up tattoo like that's what one of the the one of the class cons was basically talking about how they would see at the lunchroom people would be like congratulating and dapping up zoom for their fight asking about the fight and whatnot being all friendly with zoom because of the fight and um the class con didn't like that and whatnot and uh, it's not surprising it's really not like it's just not you know people at this school like i was thinking in my head just like you know people at this school like it's not so it's not shocking that people would do that um, but yeah, that's really the aftermath of it. Yeah, Zoom was never part of the class anymore. Everything was okay and whatnot. We ended the school year and whatnot. No, this is the aftermath that I told you at the beginning that I was going to tell you at the end, bro. Tell me why that our teacher was, that was the last year our teacher taught. 
And I don't think it was because of the fight. I think it's genuinely that the teacher wanted to do bigger things. But I think that the fight had a little bit of something to do with it. It was kind of like our teacher wanted to go into bigger and better things and enjoy the rest of her life. Like teaching, she's been doing it for years and whatnot. So yeah, she wanted to enjoy it with her girlfriend. I love her. I still follow her on some social media. When you're a teacher at the school, like during when it's teaching year, you can't have your social media, I think. But after when everything, like during the summer, they kind of like reactivate their social media and whatnot and we can follow them and see their lives and whatnot. So yeah, and that's one, that's the teacher I like follow and see and I love her so much. But yeah, you know, that's the end of the video. Like our teacher, she ain't really ever teach again like Taco with. Like it's been years too. But I think that they're probably starting up in the future and whatnot. I still call them forever teacher. I love them. Now on social media, I see Zoom on there. I don't see, do I see Tattoo? I saw Tattoo once on some social medias and whatnot. But yeah, but that was years ago. So that's why I'm retelling it now. Cause I like literally remembered it out of nowhere. Like, you know how you be having dreams of some things and then you wake up and you're just like, damn, I remember this memory. Like it was yesterday. What the fuck? Like I, I did not remember this until literally today. So I was just like, oh shit. So I'm going to tell this story time or whatnot. I hope this was, you know, entertaining for y'all or good for y'all. Y'all can watch this while y'all eat is some real shit. You know, this is my first time telling a fight story and whatnot. So yeah, and it was not even mine. So it's like, this is my first time telling a fight story and when it wasn't mine. So yeah, you know, that's the, that's, that's the tea. That's the, it's not tea, but that's the thing. That's the thing. That's what I should say. That's the thing. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. May peace be with you for an eternity.